What does it say, dude? Please be patient, I'm five? I'm, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh shit, TT Harry's how When did you all get here? <laughs> <laughs> what? We live in a simulation! We're all pieces of cake! <laughs> Whoa, don't <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aries was a W, bro. Last night, he was a bodyguard for the girls, bro. Oh, yeah, and Lexi really sent me a no, bro. Lexi sent me a picture, too, and he looks scary, dude. He he didn't even bob his head. He was literally. Oh, it's exploding! Oh no, you oh, broke it, Lexi! Oh, Lexi. Oh. Nut in my car. As I soon broke as it. Lexi yeah. Did you, did you guys just no. nut in my car? No. It's probably the sharp nail got to it. it oh yeah, the busted. sharp nail, dude. Damn. Tell him. Well, this would be very satisfying. We'll be popping off. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think my mom has one at home. Wait, give me the napkin. Dude, that's not what you do with nut. Do you want Just me? swallow it. Okay, buddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. What was at the party you said, TT? It was a, a big pee-pee. When? Like an actual. He, he was walk, Remember, I said it. He was walking down the stairs. He had the blow up one. Oh my god, I didn't see oh, it. Oh, he was. The did did you yeah, at least ask him where he got it so I can be that this year? No, I mean he was kind of far. I've always and wanted Luigi a big pee pee. Was, there too. <laughs> was it Luigi? We can trade, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Size of a BMW. Huh? And there's some guys playing golf over there. I don't know if any of you watching this video know what this place is, but it's called Ann Waffles. And shout out to Chino Mountain, because they actually showed us this place a long time ago, but this is the best breakfast spot in LA. I don't even know what this is called. I'm just gonna call it a cinnamon iced coffee, but it's one of the best iced coffees you can get here. Aries got a lot of protein on his plate. Bro, I still don't get how to eat like that. It looks like that. It's the uh, city center. Yo, where you at? God bless you. No, you might have the forever gene, bro. Maybe. Some people have the forever gene. Were you ever fat at one point in your life? Thank you. Thank you. See? So, I know I don't have it. I was young. I was, I was fat. And I remember my brother would call me Shamu and Whale. And so I know I can get really big, you know what I'm saying? I really let go and ate like a French toast or like an egg with some sausage and bacon and a cinnamon coffee. I could really get fat. Good thing I'm on a diet though. I'm gonna lose that weight today. Really admire the food here though, guys. Like, wow. Look at Lexi's breakfast sandwich. Get out of here. Oh, teacher got the same thing. Great minds think alike. Lexi, can you pass me the sticky? Thank you. It's all about our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for putting this food on our table. We are very grateful. Continue to bless us spiritually, financially, physically, mentally. Heavenly Father, forgive us for any sins that we committed, Lord, because we beg for your mercy. Continue to look over us and continue to give us good health. Same for the people we love, the people they love, and so on. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, T, um, just, it was cool last night, right? Obviously, you saw a big, you know, thing in a costume. And no, not in the cop. No. You said it was a big thing and it was a blow up costume. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Yeah. So, it was that the weirdest thing that happened last night? Um, no, there was Michael Myers there. All we've seen, um... The Terrifier. Yeah, he was there. He was there? I really felt like we were in a movie and it was, he was gonna be real. As a bodyguard, did you feel like you were, like, about to square up at any point? No. Really? No one gave weird vibes? Came up, tried to, you know? Oh yeah, the Michael Myers, he was kind of weird. Did you think you were about, like, what was he doing that made something weird? I didn't feel like the nigga was a pervert, you know? Oh, he's just trying to get close to them? Not them, in particular. But like, women, period. But like, did you see when I left to go get her water, the nigga was just staring at her. She didn't tell me that. I remember you caught me and I she looked didn't tell me that she day. Oh, he was just staring. But he had his friend try to come talk to me and to tell me that his friend wanted That was my next question. How many times did the girls get hit on? Well, Gigi got hit on twice. You did? What was your response, TT? My boyfriend. Nice. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I seen the picture. I'm gonna insert the picture here, guys, just so you can see what Aries look like. It, he, I really would have not walked like even like ten feet of in that area. The guy went up 
to Aries and was like, all three D's yours? And it was like, what was, what was your answer to that when you said all three D's yours? I said no. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, like, you could have said yes in that moment just because I understand what you're doing. You're like protecting my girl. Now, like, if I were there and you said it, I would kind of be like, wait, <laughs> like, what the hell do you mean? Who was, like, the most drunk? Why are you asking so many questions? I'm just curious. Who was the most drunk? Wow, what the hell? Really? Did anybody, so, like, explain drunk on a scale of 1 to 10? Growing up? Yeah. Last time was like 14. So you guys turned up, turned up. All of you guys had to carry her. Mm -hmm. So she all of y'all. I was literally carrying her as up a f heel when I got. You, you went as a DD, huh? Huh? You went as a DD designated driver? Yeah. W, bro. Do you see? Guys, that's a very important lesson. Now, I want to pause this interrogation that I'm giving right now, but. Oh. That's a very important lesson. Like, don't ever drink and drive. Look how they strategized and got Aries to be DD to be safe while they were out on their expedition. You feel me? Yeah, so Lexi got hit on too. So what did she say? What did she say though? I don't know. I mean, they got behind her and shit. I just said, like, I have a boyfriend. Wait, he got behind her and did what? Oh, black nigga too. And and then you were you were dancing with someone else at no. the thing. I might relate that shit down, bro. He, he was dressed up as like the um, prisoner, you know, like the thing. What happened after the dance? Was it just one dance? I didn't even dance with him. He was just there. Like, did, there were a bunch of people there. Did he at least buy you like a drink, or did he like give you some money or something? Mm -hmm. So you danced with him for free? I didn't dance with him. Every every there. moment is a money opportunity, Lex. When someone, when a guy comes up to you and, and, and admires your beauty, that's your time to finesse him and get his money. That's your time to get a free, like, free nine drinks. You could have got all the girls' drinks. You could even... The drinks? No, you, that's why you always be smart and you never let him touch it. And you tell him, stand five, behind, five feet here. You, how you do it, you go, I mean, we did wait get here, I'll be it. right back. And then you take his card. You go, let me see your card. He hands you his black card and you go, wait here. You just do a little thing yeah, on his chest. Yeah, I'll be right back. Experience or you something? sound like you're speaking from experience. Like you did. Bro. Why do you want her to do that though? Because every moment that you get to make money is a moment you should capitalize on. And you want me to sell myself? No, 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 no. I want you to understand the power of a woman's beauty. It's very powerful. Probably one of the most powerful things on this planet. And I know you guys can agree. Close your ears. Bro, when she knows, her, when she realizes her true power, you will see that you will have to submit and just, uh, just admit yourself to the true power of beauty. Oh yeah. When I stare at myself in the mirror every day, I fall in love with myself and I end up making out with the mirror for like 10 minutes before I start my gym sesh. That never happens because I end up smoking a bee lunt and playing video games. She didn't say nothing, you, she ignored him. Yeah. Totally cool. Yeah, it was fine. Mm -hmm. his for me. Mm -hmm. Stop, dude. I know what you guys are doing, but because I was asking hella questions, so now they're gonna they're trying to get me to stop and start talking to us. But oh my god, I seen it on the Tesla camera actually, and then you guys. I didn't even drive. Oh, that's right. I saw that. Yeah. I, see, I heard about it though, I, that guy, uh, my last question about um, your guys' club night. Did any of you guys um, do anything else besides drinking? Smoked a blunt in the club. Oh, it's Mika? Nice, nice. All right. You want to be my next time or something, bro? No, no. You want to be the other bodyguard next yeah, time? Yeah, you have to stand on the other you side. Be, watch you be one tall time. black dude in there. Dude. <laughs> Okay, can we do that? Can we dress up as Call of Duty characters with bulletproof vests and stuff? Get little Nerf guns and just stand in front of their section? I mean, yeah. Why would you get Nerf guns? Huh? Why'd you get, you have to actually protect us. No, I know I would with my fist. You know, most of the time though, when you get in a fight, I'm not, I'm not saying this to be funny, I've seen it in high school. If, you get in a, if a guy gets in a fight with another guy, 
and he pulls out his meat, if the fight's over. Trust me. Bro, yeah. I swear to God, the nigga in my high school got pissed off. Oh, he got. They were just. I thought you said pissed off. Pissed on? But, but I'm telling you, when someone pulls out their meat, it's watch, Lex. Hold this real quick. Imagine. Eric, just come to find me real quick. No. I'm gonna show you, but it's crazy. One million. What you gonna do with that one? It's a uh, 164.40. Yeah, I don't know how to divide this up, dude. It's not that bad. How come you didn't eat any of your eggs? I don't know. That's the bro. You ate all the fat shit, but left the protein. Huh? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That shit just busted in your mouth. Right there, That's so <laughs> freaky. Bro. That shit just went straight down your throat. Ew. Bro, it made me not want to eat it when you said that. Uh, all right, ready? For what? You don't have the balls to do that. I would never. Let me hop in the driver. You think fun, I won't? Huh? <laughs> it would be fun. <laughs> to just drive through the gate yeah, and just go, just go through that dirt it's road. It's just a dirt road. I mean, damn, that would be lit. You guys want to do something like that right now? I'm with it. If we have the Honda, I would. All right, so I'll see you guys in GTA, Lucid City. We'll go drive through the mountains. All right. It's Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. Oh. That's not Wednesday. <laughs> we were just talking about, you know, our future kid, our future son. I was telling everybody in the car, I like, just can't wait to like bully him in a dad way. And if, for some of you watching this video, you know what I'm talking about when I say bully you in a dad way. Like, I'm not going to bully you mean, but I'm just going to be a, a dad bully, you know? So I was like, tell him how if my kid was on, I could like see it. Like my son sitting on the couch playing video games and. I walk over and I just lean my butt over by his head and fart on it. He's like, Dad, why do you always do that? Mom, why did Dad do that? But I'm just rolling, like crying. They embarrass him. What if he got his mic on, talking to his friends, and all they hear is a fart? They hear it. Oh my God. That's what I'm saying, bro. It'd be so funny, dude. It's something you for sure would do. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, what's another one I would do? Let me think. Like, oh, imagine, imagine we're all sitting at the dinner table. We're with the homies. He's with his auntie and his uncle. But I start pulling the magic coil out of my mouth. I can just see his face right now. Like, like, you guys will be like, oh, Damo's doing his magic coil prank again. But it, my son's gonna be like, oh my god, my dad's choking. <laughs> Mom, save him. Yeah, Lose him, goddamn. Mom. Yeah. I'm, I'm just sitting over there, not even phased by it, just eating. <laughs> Lexi's just gonna be like, it's okay, your your dad, your dad's just being in it. No, he's choking on no, no, us. No. It's okay, it's okay, Would you Timothy. Put him in, uh, sports. Uh, for sure. I think what I want to do is. Why do we get so serious? <laughs> uh, uh, for sure. Because <laughs> that was a very serious for question sure. for me. Like that's a big thing for me. Like I don't want to be force him to do anything, but I want to show him sports like skateboarding and then some nigga that ain't no sport that is a sport bro that is Not a sport. No sport yeah that is a sport bro that ain't baseball skateboarding is a hard sport it's soccer too. that's an it's called an action sport it's not an action sport it's it very it's action adrenaline jumpy action sport adrenaline jumpy action sport bro. jumpy but no check it out so like, jumpy you junkie no jumpy no you're jumpy because you jump when you ollie and stuff right. but bro i'm telling you like i'm gonna go and i'm like hey Want to try some boxing? Bah! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna be like, hey, want to try some boxing? Have him try it. If he's like, I hate it, Dad. I'm all like, right, serious question. All right. Are hey, you gonna let him finish. <laughs> Am I gonna whoop my kid? Like the uh, yeah, because some people now, <clears throat> some people nowadays don't whoop their kid. They're they're trying to do gentle bro, parenting. Whooping is so. 13th century, bro. Yeah, I don't think I'll cool whoop. Pop in the chest, he'd be like, right. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I'll whoop his ass. I mean, I'll, I'll put it like this. Whooping is I'll so like brutal, this. bro. If... Like yeah, wait, wait, you think it's... Bro, bro no, just no, imagine no. whip, like, pulling out a belt and just... Yeah, that's crazy. Did you like, ever... Hell yeah, for like I, I was gonna minutes. say, I don't gotta imagine it, I know. <laughs> but like, um, like, that's so f***ed up, like, to just be the parent and just... Whipping his ass, bro. Dude, that, I'm saying like this. Look, I'm gonna start with just like, oh, you want to be 
bad, we're just all gonna look down on it. And and it's not gonna be like a feel bad for it. It's gonna be kind of like a hey, what are we doing? Let's let's change and figure it out. Almost like helping him problem solve and address the feeling. I'm gonna when he does something, I'm gonna go, why did you do that? What do you mean? I mean, what did you feel when you did that? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, no, no, seriously. I mean, you went through the drink table. off the table. I just want to know, like, why did you, what were you feeling when you did that? I don't know. I just felt angry. And I'm like, okay, so why are we angry? Because that's not how we should handle it. I'm, I'm not trying to get mad at you, son, but that's not how you should handle it. So let's just talk, bro. Why, why are we angry? Well, it's just because but he said he would let me borrow his toy. I'm like, give, give, give me his toy. And I'm like, see, but, but is it his toy? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, so let's go talk to little Jackson. Jackson. And then we're like, all right, Jackson, you didn't want to share your toy? And like, no, because it's my toy. And I'm <laughs> like, all right, son, sock that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> <That's like, laughs> Violence is not the answer. But let me clarify, though. I, when he gets older, I'm talking about crashes a car, almost gets a Dewey, really going down the wrong path. Yeah, it might be his ass, for sure. I'm, I'm telling you right now, when I was doing that dumb stuff in high school, if my dad didn't beat my ass, bro, I'd be in jail right now for sure. Mm. You think? For sure, bro. For sure. It's crazy. My dad kept me straight because I knew if I was like, if I did anything dumb, I'd get come home get my ass whooped. And, but he wasn't whooping my ass for spilling a drink. He was whooping my ass for smoking cigarettes at 16 and coming home reeking of freaking cigarettes and getting hammered upstairs on a Monday before I went to school type deal. So he was beating my ass, but it really made me like stop doing all those things. Cause I was like, oh my God, bro, that was intense. I was like, I don't want that to happen again. And I hated him for a long time because of it. But believe it or not, around 24, I called him and said, thank you, bro. You made me the person I am. Like I'm so like disciplined when it comes to like my responsibilities and doing the right thing. And it's because you really hardwired in my head before I lost it, before I really spun out of control type deal, you know? It's kind of deep, huh? My bad. Let me change the mood. I'm gonna fart my hand. <laughs> okay. I've been moving in cruise control. Can't stop, won't stop, cause I feel so unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. Even times when I lose control. Can't stop, won't stop, cause this is all I've ever known. Yeah. Avoiding altercations Don't you test my patience, don't you know Don't test it Pray to God I get a blessing you, you. Cause this is dedication I don't ever plan to let this go Gotta get it hit So you know I'm about to go ahead and lock it I've been moving in cruise control Can't stop, won't stop Cause I feel so unstoppable Yeah When I lose control Can't stop, won't stop Cause this is all I've ever known Moving in cruise control Can't stop, won't stop Cause I feel so unstoppable Yeah Yeah Even times when I lose control Can't stop, won't stop Cause this is all I've ever known Yeah